Bonus devlog, uh, yeah, uh, sorry for not making a video in a little while. Uh, recently I spent a couple nights in New York City, and yes, I will be making a video about that. Uh, and then I contracted a, uh, pretty bad cold, and I was out of commission for a little while, but uh, I'm basically better now. First thing to talk about is the, uh, the lighting system. Basically, I was just using the star as a singular omni-light, that's what it's called, this sort of three-dimensional light in Godot. Um, but the issue with it is that it does not have a very high fidelity when it comes to shadows. And so you end up with basically no shadows with, for like small objects are cast at all. But it also means that the underground, like if you burrow inside of a planet, it's still all lit up. So I went and developed my own little system where basically wherever you are, there is this disk which blocks out the light of the star and in its place is a spotlight which is much closer to the player and basically constantly follows you so that it's constantly right next to you and emanating from the direction of the star. So you end up with high quality shadows uh, as you can see here and you can see if we move farther away you can make out the the line the border between the Omni light. That's the that's the scene wide lighting, which does not have very high fidelity, but that doesn't matter for things that are far away. Uh, and then for things that are close to the player, you use the spotlight instead. You might ask why I didn't just use a directional light, uh, and that's because unfortunately you cannot uh, selectively like mask things out uh, of a directional light's light. Um, so like, so basically what that means is that, um, no matter what, the star itself, like the, the mesh of the star is going to be casting a shadow, um, uh, wherever you are, because obviously the light is going to be coming from the direction of the star, and so the game interprets that as the star is basically in the way of the direction of light, and so a shadow gets cast, and, uh, it seems like there's basically just no way to exempt a mesh from creating shadows with a directional light. But yeah, aside from that, the main thing I've been working on is the uh, saving and loading system so that you can actually save your game. Um, and that has been pretty complicated. Um, technically, it's it, it's technically simple, this, the actual saving and loading process, but because of the structure of the game, you know, basically every system is its own scene. And so everything needs to be organized. So you have each game file, which is made up of however many scenes and you need to be able to travel between them and everything. And it's all pretty complicated. As for release, um, I have finally gotten the game's Steam page up. And honestly, um, I'm not happy with it at all. I'm definitely going to change. I, I'm definitely going to change probably all the, uh, the box art, all of the uh, marketing assets and all that. And add more screenshots and stuff. The point is it's finally up and so I'm now actually able to release the game whenever I feel like it or rather after it's been up for two weeks. Uh, I have started beta testing um, and it's been uh, going just fine so far and so I can tell you uh, for a matter of fact that the game does in fact run. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. It really helps out the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.